uh, we've been fortunate to have received another one recently, but prior to that, we did have one in the office. So what we were able to do is uh, through King's Daughter Hospital, uh, we acquired another AED through um, a program that they did and uh, sponsored. So this has really helped us and it allows us to provide a very well needed service to the community. Uh, hopefully not needed, but obviously we have it on hand if needed. The training for an AED, it's just, it, it goes along with the CPR and first aid class that you have now. It's a part of that. Uh, you have it for healthcare providers and community CPR, the different levels that you train. But the AED is, is so important now that you train that at every level. So you don't have to have really even any medical experience to be trained on an AED because they're really simple to work. For the most part, they only have two buttons. They have a power button and a defibrillation button. I've been doing this for 30 years in law enforcement. I did, and uh, in the rural parts of the county, it's a long time for an ambulance can respond to you. I mean, it's often, uh, sometimes an hour before an ambulance can arrive. And I recall over the years <clears throat> that I've done it that we did CPR for 30 and 40 minutes of waiting for an ambulance to come. Some successful, some not so successful. The quicker that uh, an AED can be applied within certain minutes of a uh, a sudden cardiac uh, arrest. AED is very instrumental in bringing back someone and reviving and, and bringing the heart back.